Okay, that part's cooking. Um, uh, good morning again. This is Rick with Hit Run Candlesticks. Um, today's date is Friday, uh, February 2nd, 2024. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't had enough coffee and water yet. All right, so let's take a look at the SPY here. Big earnings last night, and then job numbers this morning kind of kind of put a dampener on it. Uh, but either way, the market is still... Uh, in bullish control, if you ask me. And what I, here, let me just get rid of that. So here's the daily chart on the SPY. We're clearly in an uptrend and let's, uh, let's just do it this way uh, for a minute. <clears throat> so one of my favorite charts is this one right here. Sorry, I can't get this little cough out of my, <clears throat> scratch out of my throat. Um, I'm looking at the yellow, the white, and the green line, and it's just the three, the eight, and the uh, trend indicator, or the 17. And you can see there's clearly enough trend there. And if you want to put that on a weekly, you see the exact same thing, right? So clearly the bulls are in charge. We can take a look at the cues, and we've got the same thing. Now the three has come down below the white line, but nothing has broken down through the trend indicator. The trend is still there. If we take a look at the weekly chart, you can see that the trend is clearly still there. The market is clearly controlled by the bulls so far. Here's the diamonds on the daily. You can clearly see the trend on the daily. You can clearly see the trend on the weekly. We can look at IWM. Now IWM may be a little bit wacko. It's a little bit sideways showing a little bit of of um chop in here and uh, you can see that right without looking at price sometimes price i don't know i think sometimes price distorts we sometimes we focus way a little too much on price and please don't get me wrong i think price is king i also think trend is king so um we are trending slightly and price is choppy we take a look at the weekly chart. Oh my, the bulls can, can absolutely control uh, IWM on the weekly chart. You can see that with trend. Um, let's take a look at IYT. I think the transports are pretty important. And here's the daily chart and you can see the trend is working. You can tell there's a little chop there and that's with the white being underneath, I'm sorry, the yellow being underneath the white line or the three EMA below the T, the T line. Choppy, but yet we're still trending. Here's the weekly. I'm going to get rid of those lines. There we go. And you can see that, that IYT transports are still clearly controlled by the bulls. Let's take a look at SMH. Very important here. I'm going to get rid of those lines. There we go. Weekly chart, very, very bullish. Daily chart, still very bullish. So here's what happens. I get asked all the time, is it time to short? It's not time to short till these charts tell you it's time to short. Um, this might have been an area to short, but it had no follow through. So what we're looking for is the trend to turn to short. We're not trying to guess, well, it's a short up here when the bulls completely own it, um, this is not a short till it becomes a short. Now, one thing we could do is we could come down to a faster time frame and look at that, for instance, right here. See, this is the time to maybe short when we, when we change over. Didn't have much follow through down here, just a little pullback, and now we're trying to come back up. So anyway, uh, right now the bulls are completely, completely in control um, with this market. And as, as most of you might already know, we, we pretty much have a call on the spy for 500. Uh, and then, um, we have one member in the room that is thinking 515. So, um, you can see that we're still quite, quite bullish here. All righty. Let's, um, let's take a look at a few charts here. Um, IBKR, I think that's looking mighty nice here. Um, you can see that the bullish trend, let me get my crayons out. There we go. You can see that the bullish trend is still there. You can see that with the uh, red green dots. 
That's the main trend. Everything else is just sort of slop and moving around. From there, we watch what the T-line is doing, and then we watch what price action is doing. And now from a candlestick point of view, price action, you can see this big belt hold right in here. Went belt hold all the way up to an engulf. We came down, we tested. Well, we may be ready to get this thing fired up and start moving up again. And um, we're close enough to 100 bucks. You know, we may get that. So uh, let's keep an eye on IBKR for possible trade. Uh, another one is HUBB. A uh, little expensive maybe for some folks. You know, um, if that's the case, if you all of a sudden look at this and you think $455, I can't buy that. So now's the time when I'm going to get up and go get a cup of coffee or go to the bathroom. Don't. Sit down. Um, suck it up. You can do that later. What you need to be doing is focusing on the chart. Don't worry about price. Doesn't matter whether the price is $1,000 or doesn't matter whether it's $1 learn and focus on charts you've got a very nice trending chart here again there's the daily look at the weekly um, so the 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 trend i like to use is what we call the rtw trend that's short for road to wealth and all it is is the three three above the eight and the eight above the 17. so You've got that trend working in there. So we want that trend in our favor. I'm not, I don't, I don't dig the idea of buying down here. I, I just don't do it. Um, there's too much risk. There's, uh, I end up losing. And I think most traders are the same way. You know, it sounds good to buy deep and cheap. Uh, the truth is, you know, you win some, you lose some, you win some, you lose some, you, ep you end up into the day just wearing your ass out. And really, you've not won anything by the time you do all the losses that you put in there. But if we wait for trend, because trend means momentum. And that's where we make our money, in momentum. So let's get into momentum, and then let's look for the chart patterns that we all, both RW and HRC, like. You know, like the, the PBOs, the 3A traps, the pop out of the box. Those entry points are absolutely fabulous. So if you put those into trend, you have just, in my opinion, have just accomplished uh, a magnificent feat. If you can keep doing that, you're still going to lose money. That's just the nature of trading. But I think your win-loss ratio will go up uh, tremendously if you do that. So uh, anyway, here's Hub. Uh, trending up quite nice. Uh, there's a lot of traders that's going to, you know, and that's another thing, the entry. What, how are you going to buy this? Every trader is a little bit different. Some traders are going to wait for a little bit of a pullback. Some traders are going to wait for that breakout and then breakout or pullback. The point is, this whole area here is a buy area. Um, let's take a look at Fastenal. Fastenal is a nice looking chart. Um, let's go back to the daily. So you can see the daily here, we're trending up. This is another one where the weekly also has the road to wealth trend in it. Look at that daily here. We've popped up, pulled back. We're right in the buy area. That right there is the buy area. So, um, you know, you can look at that breakout. You can look at an inside day. What we're looking for or what we're trying to negotiate is a buy that, that we can be comfortable with and then what we want is the chart to do this. So your buy has nothing to do with this. Your buy has nothing to do with making money. Your buy is all about just, do you like this chart? Um, do you see the potential? And if you do, then you buy it. If then it, then the whole conversation stops until it starts breaking out. And now you have a different conversation. So, this is all about buying it, not about making money. Making money comes afterwards. So Fastenal, I think, is looking really good here. Here's another one that I really, really like is RTX. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, look at RTX here. Uh, now, for those that don't know what a rounded bottom breakout, this was a rounded bottom breakout all through here. Kind of lost its RBB status up into here, really. Uh, big, big gap up here. 
And now we're just consolidating. We still have a T-line run where price uh, hangs above the T-line here. Looks great. So, you know, uh, buying choices are pretty simple. You can look at that breakout. You can, I'm going to do something like that right there. This, to me, that's the buying area right in there. So you negotiate a buy and, you know, uh, Bobby there might, might negotiate a better buy than, than Chip. That doesn't make Bobby a better trader. Just makes Bobby pull the trigger at a different price. At the end of the day, we're all looking to make money as this thing goes up. Um, CAG. CAG looks really good. Uh, watched CAG yesterday put in this bullish engulf. Um, I wasn't much on trading yesterday, pretty, pretty much against it, really. Um, nice trend here. You can see that with a 50 period moving average. Nice rounded bottom breakout. Great candle. Uh, I just love the way that's looking. So uh, to me, you know, CAG is worth trying to negotiate that, that entry in. And then we're looking for price to move up. Um, so let's talk about the risk, I guess, the stop. Okay. So if, if you like this chart because of the bullish engulf, well, then if it fails the bullish engulf, you wouldn't like it. Well, that's simple. Get out of it. Don't hope, don't pray, don't chew gum and throw salt behind your back thinking that, hey, that's going to work out. So if that's, if that's why you like it, that's an easy way to get out of it. You know, other people might look at, well, I like this because it's above the T-line and I'm looking for a T-line run for three or four or five days. Well, if we get below the T-line then, we'll get out of it. I mean, don't, don't, you know, if, if that's the way you like to trade, which I think that's a really cool way to trade, is, so we have this bullish engulf and we're sitting here on an inside day, pre-market here. So let's, you know, I, I don't know, let, let's say we just do that today. And then, and then Monday, maybe we do that. And then Tuesday, maybe we do this, but we're still above the T-line. And then Wednesday, we start doing this. Well, that's what you want. Now, at the same time, we know that the, the T-line is going to climb up with it, right? So at some point, when price goes back below the T-line or gives you that candle that says, all right, I better take profits, we'll do it if that's your plan, if that's your strategy, if that's your trade plan. And I happen to think that's a very, very good strategy. Um, you are, what time is it? I need to watch time. Or, all right. You are a, now this is one that I was in. Uh, I'm still in half, sold half yesterday. And my stop is going to be right in here. So what I'm looking for is for price to hang out and then continue. What I don't want is price to drop down below that line. If it does, I'll have to close it out and then take that remaining profit. But I had enough profit on it that I can sit there and let it sit and, you know, half the position kind of float around. Uh, so I'm looking for this to move higher uh, with a stop right in there. So uh, what else do we have here? Um, let's look at MJ and then we'll have to call it a day, I think, or a morning. Uh, MJ is looking awfully nice. Nice rounded bottom. Uh, nice rounded kind of controlled bottom in there uh, uh, has popped up. Looks like a beautiful trend. Again, I want to go to the weekly. Look how the road to well trend has kicked off on the weekly. So, uh, you know, you, you add that with, with the daily chart and now you're just trying to negotiate that entry. Make sure you have a path to profits. So uh, I look at this and I see a path to profits. Even if even if 405 is is the end of that run, maybe with this high over here. But I also see you know running up into the, we'll, we'll go there, running up into the 430 area and maybe even higher yet. So um, keep trend, negotiate your entry, take profits. Make sure that if the if the chart pattern fails, you pull it out and cut your losses as quick as you can. All righty. Good morning again, everybody. Thanks for listening in. I'll be back here uh, at the bottom of the hour when the market opens up. All right. Everybody take care. Thank you very, very much. 
and we'll see you in about 28 minutes or so, okay? Take care.